Thank you, Raina. At 8 o'clock, we are excited because after several years of construction, that new bus lane that goes all the way down Van Ness Avenue in San Francisco finally opened to the public. Oh, about time. <laughs> we got Car for Sarah Stinson following the story for us this morning in the city, and it's been a long time coming, Sarah. I think the sigh that James just released is one that's felt across the Bay Area. If you're from here or you just drive in San Francisco, you know that the construction in Van Ness has been nonstop for years. And that's why behind me, this is where a ribbon cutting ceremony is going to be full people excited to tell you that the construction is over. Take a look. You see that red lane right there? That is the lane in which Muni will be driving the buses. They will be only in that lane and all of you driving through the city will stay in these two lanes. And then you can see out there in the distance, there's also the platforms. These are new platforms where people will be riding the bus. They're not starting that till 10. So I guess this morning there's a bit of confusion with people out here thinking today's the day, but not quite, not till 10, everybody. Uh, for now, it's the regular bus stops, but this has been a long time coming. Take a look at construction that people have been dealing with for the last six years. Since 2016, businesses along Van Ness have had to deal with this construction. It's hurt their businesses, they've told us, and so I'm sure they'll be glad to hear it's all over and it's looking beautiful. Also, there's a lot to look forward to with this Van Ness bus rapid transit system. It aims to address traffic congestion along Van Ness by creating that physically separated bus lanes so that the buses can get through without getting stuck in traffic. You'll notice that those bus lanes are marked in red. I just showed you them. That is going to really uh, cut down on some of the confusion. New boarding platforms will help get people on those buses easily. This is a $345.9 million project brought with other improvements, including new lighting, sidewalks, there's trees planted, there's beautiful art fixtures and crossing signals. There's also improved access for people with disabilities. Along with the surface level improvements though, the project also allowed the city to go underground and fix utility maintenance like sewer pipes and water mains, something they haven't done in 100 years. So that got done as well. The new system will serve the 49 mission and the Van S route plus the 90 San Bruno Owl Muni bus line. Now that is going to be all announced and with a lot of excitement today at 9.15, we'll see a lot of people out here, the mayor, the city leaders, and uh, SFMTA announcing this. And I'm sure they're excited to unveil it after six years of construction. They're excited to see how it will all play out. So just a little tip though, for anybody who comes around here, no bikes and no scooters in that red lane. So just Muni. And and you got to stay on the right side. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting live in San Francisco. Back to you. Yeah, some new rules of the road people are going to have to get used to. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Sarah. Also in San Francisco.